dangerous situation. <laughs> Before you watch this movie, shut your brain down. Yes, I said it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Alima Dubel and this is the first time you are coming to my channel. You are most welcome. Here we do a lot of movie conversations, movie reviews, banter special and vlogs so you can get to know me better. Anyway, today is another movie review and you are going on a ride with me. If this is the first time you are coming to my channel, please don't forget to click that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you know when I drop a new video, share this video and give it a like. And please, I love to read from you so I want your comments in the comment section below. And if you are already a returning subscriber, oh my god, you know already I love you guys super super much. Anyways, let's just get right into the video because today we are going to be talking about Sole. Sole is a Nigerian movie by Kayode Kasum. I mean, there's been a lot. I'm like, where is this PR coming from? Because why are people saying so much about Sole? Why is it getting so much traction? I know, I'm like, you know what? I am going to come and give my two cents to you people, to my subscribers, because I know you guys like to hear from me too. So what is Sole about? If you are a Yoruba person or you probably live in Nigeria, you already have an idea of what Sole means. Sole means getting cheap rides, basically. You know, you're traveling somewhere or you're going somewhere, you're looking for cheap rides, you enter Sole. A lot of people say Sole is not safe because, you know, you can end up in a kidnapper's hand or whatever. But basically, it's just to get cheap rides. When they are entering it for 1,000 naira on a normal day, you probably get Sole for like 500 or 300, you know. That's what it is. So this movie is about people hailing on a cheap ride to the east because the driver kept calling east, 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 east. And I'm wondering where exactly in the east are we going? But hey, let me not get all furious yet, right? <laughs> so um, the movie opens with Adunia Ade. We see Adunia Ade. She is a nun in the movie, a reverend sister, whatever you call it. She is a nun in the movie and she's trying to solicit funds for an orphanage that she runs and then we get to meet Megotanwa along the line and we meet Shalasho Bowale, we meet Sean, we meet um, a bunch of other people. I really can't remember them right off my head right now. Okay, we have Udegbe in the movie. We have Ade Dimeji Latif. We have Femi Jacob. Yeah, pretty much that. You know, it's a, it's a really large cast, honestly. But I feel like those were like the really big faces. We have SODK also. Yeah, you know, really star actors that you're thinking, oh, right, this movie is going to be a bomb because why do we have Shalasha Bawale, Megatanwa, Latifa Dedimeji, and so many other star actors? And this movie is sinking. Why is it sinking? Anyways, if you want to find out everything about this movie, please stay tuned because it's going to be alright. So, don't click out, so I'm going to be breaking it out for you one by one. So first off, let's talk about the story. The story basically happens on a bus. Most of the activities of the movie happens on a bus because they are traveling from Lagos to the east, then people are ailing in from different points. That Chalashu Bawale, who was a apparently a rich kidnapper in the movie she was Igbo in the movie by the way but she was still very loud and acting Yorubaish so I kept wondering is she Igbo or Yoruba Igbo or Yoruba because I really couldn't place it we had Latif and the major who did this accent he did his accent thing that he did in Prophetess and he also did in um, what's the name now he did in Prophetess Sha. the accent thing as always he was always giving this evil boy vibe and whatnot he did that in the movie we had megotanwa who was presumed by other people as a prostitute because of the way she dressed and all of that and you know she turned out to be a virgin at some point we really don't know our goals but we just know that she's this happening babe and she was going to sell dildos in the east we had i said adunia did already she was um a nun in the movie we had uh what's this guy's name now frank yeah he was the driver in the movie i'm just going to insert his picture right now we had frank who was the driver in the movie we had femi jacob who played the professor 
Wu was just negating everybody's point in the movie. We had SODK who acted like an Agbero, who was very loud and uncouth in the movie. Um, yeah, and so many other people who were just really loud and all over the place also. In the beginning, um, a lady brings a bag to the park that she wants to send it to the east via Sole. That's my first fear. Like, who sends a package to the east via Sole? Okay, fair enough. Who uses a luxurious bus for Sole? Okay, fair enough. Let's keep going, guys. Because all these things, they add up to why this movie was just jack shit for me. Sorry for using those words, but nah, I just couldn't. I couldn't. So she brings this bag to the park, a box rather. And, you know, the driver tells her, ah, your money is 15,000. And she's like, ah, okay, okay. She shall pay. Then she even gave him extra. This is also buy more. I'll be this one to do whatever. And he puts the bag in the box and she gives him the number of the person is going to deliver the box to. So on their way, they get robbed by some, you know, armed robbers. And Megotawa's box got stolen. She's Justina in the movie. Let me just use her name, Justina. So Justina's box got stolen because they thought it looks like the box that they wanted to steal. The box that the lady brought to the park, you know. So it got stolen. Then somewhere in between that, uh, Latifa did image was telling the robbers that nobody be so you won't be that and that person works you still and I'm like mm, why is he doing that? <laughs> why is he doing that? So later on we find out that lots of added media obviously works with their armed robbers and then um what's her name? Shalasha Boali is also you know she works with the armed robbers also um the professor is a spiritualist he has and he can bring knife out of his back and he can do all those stuff <laughs> and you know like his father was a spiritualist and herbalist and you know basically he has powers um we find out that the people that call themselves students on the bus they were members of ctu and i'm like is this jack bauer so you're giving us ctu but no let me just keep quiet i'm going on because of course, you know, because they had like really badass skills and they could fight and do all this really like cool stuff. Like, who ha, he actually could open a box with a uh, pain, you know, like all this kind of cool stuff. Like, you know, superheroes and like badass people do, you know, action movie kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, there was that too. And they kept on going and everything was just loud. Guys, everybody wanted to outshine the other person. It was like it was a contest of lousiness and it just kept reminding me of ghost and the Tout because i'm like why are you people shouting all at once now i know you're going to say oh if you have traveled before by bus in nigeria you know that people can be really loud in bus yes i have traveled so many times and i know that people can be loud but not trying to outshine each other like bro this this is real life like these don't make sense they were just all shouting the only people that were not shouting all the time were probably Adunia Day because I mean she was a nun and her character was very defined. The mega town one that happened to be like a star actress in the movie, we didn't really understand uh, like who she was. She was just a young person in a bus. There were no character development. There were no explanation to who she was. Okay, we understood Shola Shubawali's character. She was a uh, she had a baby making factory. She was a kidnapper. But like, why was she connected to this robbery? I really didn't understand that. And like, who was this bag supposed to be for? We never really understood that part. Like, how do these stories, how do they connect? How did she know about the bag? And why is she on that bus? If they, if they wanted to just steal the bag, they could have done that. I feel like they could have devised so many other plans to steal that bag if they really wanted to steal it. But it just didn't make sense. Everything was just happening all together and it was just like a lot. And then Latifa did imagine trying to steal the bag after they got robbed and they, those ones, they picked up the wrong bag and it was like, they just got robbed. And I don't even understand. The emotions were not real. The, like, it feels like at every point, 
it was the same set of emotions we were getting loud furious angry nigerians basically there was a little bit of comedy i feel so what i ex what i thought that this movie was going to be was more of comedy right but it just felt like they did not really understand the tone of comedy preview they were supposed to put into it and then after they got robbed and latif was like he wants to come down from the body and yada when he was trying to steal the bag again i'm like what exactly is going on why is everybody just loud and they cannot communicate like actual human beings and why is the driver stopping in the middle of the night in a place in the bush after you just got robbed drivers don't listen to passengers like that now this is nigeria they don't care about you they just want to go to their destination and get to where they are going as fast as possible and then the driver i mean the driver he kind of did well but the point where he just kept going up back and forth with ah do you know who i am uh, i mean nigeria is what i love did you know who i am but he did it like too many times so the problem is not that they were having actions the problem is what they were overreacting they were overacting and it just got tired like i started having a headache guys one hour into this movie and i'm like okay where are we going what is happening gun gun i don't understand i don't get it i don't i don't <laughs> yeah. guys it was a lot also one of the things that really got me cringy i'm like nah you guys must be kidding was when the police officers were about to stop them now we know that okay because they had seen what was in the bag now in the box because this box is causing you like a lot of problems they were like let us know what is inside this box and they opened it up and they saw that like, it was dollars like money first of all i'm like why did you not just do transaction why are you sending dollars in a box to east <laughs> driver can g box take like, below like he can sign up to deliver it it's as simple as that even if there was no this old drama you sending that kind of amount, that kind of cash via boss, the driver can decide to just carry your money and run away. But then she share boss more. It's that simple. But okay, they have even sent it now, Abi. Now, the people have seen what was in the box. They're like, oh, so it's money. Yada, yada. Okay. Now, what are we going to do this money? They started thinking of how are we going to share it. Yada, yada. This one is say, what's going to be my share? So they already asked, what are you going to use your money for? Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. So they are getting stopped by police there's police in front of them and everybody starts to fidget and everybody starts to get scared like hey what are we going to do and i'm like one thing first like why are you guys super scared and why is everybody going to the front to stand where you know at the door why are you all acting so suspicious already when they have never even caught you why one two why were the police officers interested in that box how did they know the content of the box we don't understand everything is just hanging in the air hanging in the air hanging in the air and i'm like because they kept asking the the, the professor man he kept asking okay why are you guys sure this book but like we didn't see any context as to why this how, how these people knew what was in that box he just kept going oh open your boots open that give me that box open that box and in my head, I'm like, hello, what's really going on here? How is everything just happening so fast? And then the part where they shot almost like 30 minutes in red lights, the um, baby factory scene. I could not even like open my eyes for so long. My eyes were hurting. I'm like, what is going on? The baby factory too, it was just... Ugh the only highlights i can see i picked from this movie was the scene where adonia Ade and mega tower they were locked up in one cell and jacob was locked up in another cell and it was like he needs a virgin urine on the cutlass he can use to kill the guy that has a day she on him and you know the old scene where i didn't i didn't Ade, like she's not a virgin and mega tower like she's a virgin and because of you know the old stereotypes that they've placed on them i think Ade is a nun so they expect her to be a virgin mega tower is wearing ripped jeans um you know camisole kind of top and looking all you know bad bitch kind of vibe so yeah they are you know that stereotype how they twisted that stereotype yeah that made sense i i liked that the where we found out that um shalashi Bawale was actually a kidnapper and you know she had connections with the robbers that kind of made sense too but like there was no in-depth everything was just all over the place and was on the surface 
zero in depth for storytelling zero i feel like they had a good story to tell right you know how you can how your faith can change from one thing to another in like a split second just because you are in a bus how sole can be a very very they had a good story to tell basically and the the characters the story of each character that they, we saw was kind of it was realistic it's something that we can see in real life you know because on a bus definitely you see different people of different kind of attitudes you will see someone that is a nun you see the, the guy that was a preacher the pastor that kept going on and on and you know when it was time to donate money for megotanwa it was very reluctant you know these are very realistic characters but the way you tell the story is what makes the story make sense this you have a very very realistic thing in front of you how do you how do you bring it to life i feel like that's what makes sense the most because the way it was brought to life was very tiring to watch it was very exhausting it was annoying i was easing half the time i only watch it to the end because i'm like okay so what now happened because it didn't get me more what now happened where are we going exactly and then even i think i had this obsession with um you know helping people i mean i get it you know she's a saint or whatnot and you know yeah and you know she has an orphanage that made sense but like at some point it felt like she wasn't really thinking of herself anymore which didn't make sense and i'm not being judgmental again you know it's it negates what we think of you know people that are very religious but that was fine that that if that was just it that was very excusable like oh yeah whatever i mean that could happen in real life but the actualization of these characters were just so tiring to watch Whew. i feel like i've been talking too much it's time to rest <laughs> anyways guys that is my review i don't know if you picked anything from all the rambling that i lived because i feel like i was just rambling i was just too tired to coordinate what i wanted to say the dialogues were stressful to listen to because they were not very articulate the character development was like 2.5 over 10. the story except if you like look beyond the whole thing like you're just looking in depth in depth you're not watching what is happening you might feel like the story is like okay a 4 over 10 or 5 over 10. yeah so i don't even were there soundtracks in this movie i don't even know because i don't even remember hearing any soundtrack either way whatever the soundtrack was i didn't feel it um then the scene where dollar saved somebody from dying because he packed dollar on his body and he got shot and he did not die because dollar saved him i'm looking like kenny bullets cannot pierce through paper like that but okay fair enough whatever you guys decide to say but yeah that's basically it Sha. <laughs> that's basically it the movie is a three over ten for me um, i think that's fair three is actually a very good score for what i watch um should you watch it no i don't think you should if you still want to check it out it's not me just go ahead and do your friend yeah and i have come to the end of this review if you did enjoy it and you watch to this point if you watch to this point please I'm going to add some emojis to this screen. I want you to put them in the comment section right now. If you have your contributions to this review, place them in the comment section below. And I'm going to see you guys in my next video. So if you've not seen my previous videos, please do check them out. I have movie reviews on various, various Nigerian movies that are your favorites. I know they are your favorite because I've seen you guys talk so much about it. And I want you guys to hear, you know, my review about them. So till next time, stay safe and I love you guys so much. Bye.